Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are back. Learning how to clean and maintain your little boxing gloves. Pretty quick and easy video. Um, I'll run through some tips and maybe I'll tell you to skip a few things if there's some very expensive gloves, but yeah, let's get into it. First things first, your apps. I just got home from my sessions, so these are really easy. All you have to do, take them off and with the sticky Velcro bit, stick it back against your wrap. Because when you drop it in your wash bag, you don't want that getting caught on things and ripping your nice wraps to shreds. So just take those off. Who cares about the presentation of them? Just get them off. That's one off. Next one, stick the Velcro back. Get it off. Sorry, I'm out of frame. And once that is off, get a wash bag. I recommend only putting one pair in here, but you probably could do two. I usually put my ankle wraps in here as well, which actually may as well come on my feet. That is one ankle wrap. You can put that in there as well. But when you put in two or three pairs of wraps, they'll get all tangled and they might destroy each other. So be careful how much you put in one, one wash bag. There you go, ready to go in the wash. Now, for the gloves, I'll change the viewing angle so you guys can get a bit of a better idea. One sec. Alright, so here we are. First few tips is with your gloves. After a session, if they're all wet and smelly inside, let them dry out and use some of these, some deodorizers. You can use all sorts of different ones. These are made for sports gloves. So put those in your gloves all the way in, shove them until they're about like, you know, where your fist would be. And let that deodorize for a bit, especially if they are more expensive gloves. And then once you've done that and they've dried out a bit, which these have, I didn't use them much today, but I do need to clean them and maintain them. First things first is some Dettol for the inside. If you have some nice gloves, I might skip this, but if you don't really care about the quality or condition of the inside of the glove, just want to make it more hygienic than I do. Because I do have some nicer gloves for sparring, but these are just my like ruining gloves, my bag gloves. So I'll just open them up all the way, get that, and just spray a little bit in there. I'll do the same with this one. Not much, just a little spray for the inside. Now, you can get some sort of defense spray like I have, which is made for all sorts of martial arts or gym equipment and all that kind of stuff. And then you can mix that in a spray bottle, which needs a bit of a shake. And I'm going to quickly just spray this all over the leather. And then, um, actually I might, I usually just spray it right on this, but I'm just gonna dribble a bit straight on the gloves. But um, if you do have some nice gloves and you're doing this, probably put it on a serviette or a cloth and then wipe it. But I'm just gonna spray it straight on the gloves. So yeah, let's go. That's just the top side. That one. Don't have to do an amazing job, especially if you do it regularly. And there we go. So you use a bit of defense spray. And then I'm going to go over it again with some pine clean or some Dettol wipes or something like that. I like the lemon lime because these are lemon scented. Kind of makes your gym bag smell nice as well. One there and one here. Thank you. 
There we go. And I've had these gloves for over 10 years. And as you can see, the leather is cracking a bit here and here. And to prevent that, you want to get like some sort of leather kit. This is um, a winning kit. Um, I'll show you all that in a second. But yeah, so once you've desanitized everything and done your cleaning, it's time to move on to maintenance. So just dry these, get them all nice and dry. And now I'm just gonna let these air dry for about five, 10 minutes, and then we'll get back to this. Um, with that, the only thing I would say is if you do have nice gloves, I would use stuff like this and put it on a nice cleaning cloth and wipe everything down. So instead of spraying it directly on, then I'd maybe skip the disinfectant wipes. Um, so once you've got your defense spray on and everything's cleaned, just wipe it down, make it dry, let it dry out a little bit, and then we'll move on to hydrating and moisturizing and giving the level some lotion and a bit of revitalization. So yeah, we'll get back to that in about five minutes once these have dried, and yeah, see you guys in a minute. All right, and we are back with these bad boys. I'm about to get some lotion and oil. So open up your kit or whatever tools you have. This kit is made by Winning, and they're pretty hard to find. I had to import this from Japan, and this is um needs baseball gear, but you can get like a Winning kit. It's got the exact same stuff inside. So you got your cloth for your lotion and that, and then you got a little sponge with a hard side to be able to press and grab some of your oil. So what you want to do first. Just grab your glove lotion or some leather lotion or some other similar things and start getting it on your glove. All right, there's a bit more. Make sure you get in all the creases because that's where the leather is most likely to crack. That's one glove done, and I'll just do one glove for the video. I'll do this other one after. Oh, one second. All right. Get your oil unused, and then get your sponge, hold down on the tough side. Get a nice, oh, nice. Get a nice amount on your sponge and start working that in. Maybe even a bit more than that. Make sure you get in the stitch lines of your gloves as well. Do not get to get in there. Oh, sorry, it's not the camera. A bit more for the other side. Yep, 
Get in all the crevices and the stitch lines. And your garb should look nice and oily, feel nice and oily, <coughs> and have it spread along very well over all the stitch lines. Maybe a little bit more. You want it very nice and oiled up so it can hydrate the lower. Here we go. That's there we go. And make sure you do it on a surface that you can clean easily because it is going to get oily and all that. Alright, now that the glove is nice and oily, make sure you get it into any cracks if you do have them. Hydrate everything very well. You can see that's just got a much more high sheen to it. And then once you've done that, it's covered in oil, then you can go ahead and wipe it down with your second cloth. And now, that is a fully cleaned and maintained glove. Will last many, many years if you take care of it, preventing cracks, making it look nice and shiny. This looks much nicer, much fresher, and will last longer. All right, well thank you guys so much for watching. If you found the video useful or have any further questions or comments, leave them down in the comments below. Or if you want to see anything else, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. And yeah, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. My baby says bye. <laughs>